Hey there YouTubers, uh, JB Coins here with another video. Decided we're going to go ahead uh, based on what we found with the, the Sacagawea uh, and other dollar coins that we checked. <clears throat> we're going to go through these George Washingtons we've got. And we have two rolls, so we're going to do one roll at a time. In this video I want to talk real quick. Uh, we all have heard about the plain edge or missing lettering uh, variety. That's the, probably the most common. Uh, according to um, uh, published uh, resources that I've got here, it says thousands escaped the mint, some estimates being higher than 100,000. Uh, Adams and Jefferson dollars were released in significant but smaller quantities. Most were found in Florida, smaller amounts scattered throughout several other states, uh, and also other, uh, some were found in mint sets. Issues that approach or exceed a thousand are 2008 Harrison, 2009 Tyler, and 2009 Polk. And uh, the book is saying that in this condition, these are worth about three bucks um, as they are uh, each, um, three times face value. Um, the error does not have a price designation in that book. Another source book that I've got talks about presidential dollar errors and when it comes to Washington it says uh, blank plant chets um, and this book is about six years old so these prices are going to be off blank plant chets $150 missing edge lettering $150 that's our, our missing edge doubled edge lettering doesn't have a price but that's an interesting one didn't know about that one uh, clipped plant chets when we talked about that one but that's where if you if we see it we'll know it uh, it's uh, you know there's a, a, a basically a chunk of the coin cut out and then also outer layer of manganese missing so the gold patina is missing uh, that one is the grand slam it's 1200 bucks as of when this book was written uh, it says the planchettes for the presidential dollars are the same composition as the Sacagaweas and the first discovery coin of one of these errors sold for 4050 bucks on eBay in October of 2007 and these coins came out in 2007 so somebody found them when they first came out and made a bundle <laughs> 4,000 times face value so having put that out there uh, we're gonna tear into this very carefully <laughs> I'm seeing lettering, which of course we don't want to see. It looks like all of them have lettering. All of them look like they have lettering. They're slightly different shades. We've got a couple here that are darker. I'm going to use the cheaters here. I don't notice anything that's obviously doubled, but. We're going to take the paper out of the way and then do this carefully. I'm uh, going to try and do this whole thing on camera live like we've done on the other uh, dollar coin videos. Yeah, the lettering's there. It doesn't look doubled. Hello, George. It's a good looking coin. Set that one off to the side. Liberty backside looks good. Two thousand seven D. I can make out the lettering good. George looks good. George looks good, really nice on this one. <coughs> <clears throat> Liberty looks good on the back. God we trust. There's another nice one. This one's got a 
Bit of a blemish on the, a couple blemishes on the front here. Take a look at this with the cheaters. It looks okay, other than just being a little bit uh, speckled. It's not really a clean coin like we like to see. George looks good. Liberty looks good. Lettering looks good. Those of you that have watched our videos for the last couple of years know that Anytime I'm wearing the white gloves, that means something unusual. Hmm. That almost looks like a very slight offset to the south. See how much whiter the top is than the bottom? Where my thumb is here, uh, by Liberty's body, um, it's uh, very narrow. And up here at the top, it's a little chunkier. So... Don't know. Let's see. Face looks okay. Not as nice as the other ones, but it's okay. See the lettering. Let's set that one off to the side just because I'm not sure if that's slightly offset or not. I'll check that against the others later. <clears throat> or before we finish, anyway. Um, George looks pretty good. And oh, this way. Lee Pluribus Unum. It's got one slight nick on it. We're really picky. <laughs> Especially when we have two rolls of these. We can afford to be. And if we decide to offer these up on eBay, uh, like we have the Sacagaweas and a few other things, um, you know, we, we want to make sure you know what's out there and you've seen it on the video come out of the roll. Um, you know the condition. This one's got a couple of scratches on it, a couple of nicks. Not really a bad coin. I mean, backside's not that great either. It's uh, got some smudging. Lettering looks good. So, so far we got three on the so so pile, and we've got five on the six on the good side. So, I mean, this roll overall is really pretty nice. A couple slight blemishes. Back looks nice. Lettering looks okay. This one's got a little smudging on the front and the back. I mean, they're just bag marks, you know. They're not, these are not proof coins. So, you know, coins for circulation, when you get them in a roll like this, you're going to have some bag marks because the machines roll these, not humans. Um, and uh, so, you know, subsequently the machine just drops one in, hits one the wrong way, and creates a bag mark. That's why they call it that. It's a very nice front. Very nice back. Lettering's all there. Uh, got 
this is going to be a long video, guys. But, you know, we're trying to be thorough with these because these are really nice coins. And, uh, you know, at three times face value, just for these, any potential error, obviously, is some nice money. Um, sorry about the fit on these gloves. That's why I don't usually wear them, but... Oh, see that he's got some scratches on his face. So that one goes in the uh -uh pile. <laughs> that one's got almost looks like a fingerprint on there. Some sort of smudge. Doesn't want to come off. And it's got some smudging on the front too. Almost like soot. Off to the side. Tighten the gloves up a little. Uh, hmm, the scratch or crack? No, it's a scratch. Thought maybe we got lucky and found a die crack, but it's a scratch. It scratches on the front too. The lettering's there. Uh, Liberty looks nice. George looks nice. Lettering looks nice. Liberty's got a scratch. George has a very small scratch. Let's see. A couple small scratches there. George looks really nice. Lettering looks correct. Liberty looks good. George has one teeny, a uh, couple of teeny bag marks on him. Like I said, for me, that's enough to put it back, actually. Um, you know, if we were going to hang on to him for a period of time, they probably would be still considered AU at worst and, and uh, go for some decent money. But that one, you can see there's obvious scratches on his forehead and on the side. Lettering looks. Wait a minute. Yeah, lettering's okay. And the last one. This one's also got scratches on the field to the left of Liberty. Oh, some kind of goober on. Oh, that was the. Obviously, that's the outside coin uh, that was face out. So. Out of that roll, we didn't find the really expensive rare ones. We've got uh, we've got nine. We've got nine, and then we've got this one that we wanted to check against the other one, see if it's offset or not. I mean, yeah, it's really, really slight. I don't know if, if anybody would consider that an offset or not, um, but he's a keeper in any event. Um, so we've got ten keepers here. Uh, it looks like so um, those will probably wind up on eBay uh, the rest will go to the bank and we're gonna move to roll number two in the next video so until we do that JB coins signing off